My name is Elena Garcia, and I am a clinical psychology predoctoral intern with the UCSF Department of Psychiatry Child and Adolescent Division. Today, I'll be discussing adolescent sleep during COVID-19 and providing some tips on how adolescents can achieve healthy sleep during this time. Teens, think of your last night of sleep. Did you get between eight to 10 hours? If not, don't worry, you're not alone. Generally, research has shown that approximately 62% of teens report sleeping less than the recommended amount per night. During COVID-19, many teens are reporting shifts in their sleep pattern and difficulties with either not getting enough sleep or sleeping too much. This is common as sleep is often disturbed during times of stress and uncertainty. So what is sleep? You might hear often that it's important, but what exactly is it? Sleep is defined as a natural pause of consciousness during which the powers of the body are restored. Basically, sleep is a period of time during which the body is able to regain energy. Before I provide some sleep tips, let's discuss why sleep is important and why you should aim to improve your sleep habits. First, sleep powers the brain. It makes you more alert, it enhances your memory and your learning ability. This is especially important as many teens continue to, to participate in distance learning to achieve academic goals. Next, sleep is important for your growth. In teens, the prefrontal cortex is still developing and is especially sensitive to sleep deprivation. The prefrontal cortex controls cognitive and emotional abilities. Finally, sleep is key to your health. It is just as important as good nutrition and physical activity. There are many different consequences of not getting enough sleep. Getting less sleep does not give you more time to function at your best. Rather, shortened sleep leaves you sleepy throughout the day and not able to perform effectively. Not getting enough sleep can impair your learning, performance, mood, health, and safety. During shelter in place, there are many barriers to getting a good night of rest. Many of us are spending increased time on electronic devices whether it be to connect with family and friends that we are not able to see in person or having to attend classes online, our screen time has likely increased. Using electronics too close to bedtime can disturb sleep. The light from devices can increase alertness and decrease your brain's natural melatonin. There have also been many disruptions in sleep schedules and routines. Your morning schedule likely looks different now, which can contribute to later bedtimes and later wake times. Finally, during this pandemic, teens may face feelings of boredom, depression, or anxiety, which can either cause excessive sleep and time spent in bed or reduce sleep. I've created this mnemonic device to help remember some tips to improve your sleep. S, S is for sun. Sunlight in the mornings and throughout the day is an important cue for our brain clock. Light can help you feel more alert and active throughout the day. L, limit. Limit caffeine intake to before lunch. Try not to have too many foods like chocolate or drinks like soda, teas, or coffee late in the evening as this can delay your sleep. E, establish. Establish a regular relaxing bedtime routine. This will help train your body to get ready for sleep each night. E, electronics. Electronics should be off at least 30 to 60 minutes before bed. Finally, P, for pursue. Pursue a consistent sleep and wake schedule, even on the weekends. Here are some tips on how you can establish a regular bedtime routine. About one hour before going to bed, you should engage in a relaxing, non-alerting activity. Some examples of this can be reading, meditating, or doing puzzles. Do not eat or drink too much. If you're hungry and in need of a bedtime snack, it's best to have a light snack that is higher in carbohydrates and protein, like cheese and crackers, peanut butter on toast, or a bowl of cereal. Avoid spicy foods that may cause heartburn. If you are thirsty, try not to drink too much. Too many fluids late at night can lead to nighttime awakenings to use the bathroom. You also want to aim to create and maintain a sleep-promoting environment that is quiet, dark, cool, and comfortable. And again, all electronics should be off at least 30 to 60 minutes before bed. Try to use your bed just for sleeping, not for doing homework, reading, playing games, or talking on the phone. That way you'll train your body to associate your bed only with sleep. 
To begin changing your sleep habits, it can be helpful to keep track of your current sleep patterns and various parts of your day to understand how this may be impacting your sleep. The National Sleep Foundation offers a sleep diary that can help you keep track of your sleep and behaviors throughout the day. There are also several free mobile applications to help you track your sleep, such as Sleep Cycle, Sleep Score, Sleep Z, and Sleep Time Plus. If you're interested in meditation, there are also free mobile applications that provide guided meditation for throughout the day and before bed. Some of these applications are Headspace, Slumber, and Calm. Thank you for listening. I hope you're able to learn some new sleep tips during this video. Remember, it is possible to achieve healthy sleep during COVID-19 and also as we transition out of shelter in place. Happy sleeping. Mm -hmm.